white way of delight. This here is Barry's pawn. I don't like that name either. I shall call it. Let me see. The Lake of Shining Waters. Yes, that's the right name for it. I, I know because of the thrill. Do things ever give you a thrill? I don't rightly know. Well, there has to be something. Well, no. Um, I suppose it, well, it kind of gives me a thrill to see those ugly white grubs spade up in the cucumber beds. Well, I suppose I can imagine that. I hate the look of them. I like to be rid of them. Well, I suppose I gave Mrs. Hammond a thrill then. She was happy to be rid of me after her husband died. Who's Mrs. Hammond? I worked for her family, taking care of the children for a few years. She had eight. It sure seems to make some people angry when they have so many children. Mr. and Mrs. Hammond were certainly vexed all the time. Hi, Moira. Hi, Amy Beth. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for being on The Red Booth Show. No problem. Well, everyone, we are here with Moira Wally Beckett and Amy Beth McNulty of the new Netflix series, And With an E. Well, Moira, I'm so happy to be talking to you. Um, you're obviously so talented, and you just have won an Emmy for Primetime Drama Series, and you've worked on Breaking Bad on one of the most, you know, epic episodes. And so, you know, I know that you're going to be bringing your talents to this show, and I'd love to hear a bit about it. Um, well, it's been really um, an incredible journey adapting this book my way um, for this format, and I'm really, really excited to share it with the world. <laughs> yes, definitely, and we are very much looking forward to that. And um, obviously, this is based on the original novel, Anne of Green Gables, and I wanted to ask you a bit about that because I know that there was also a series that was done in the past, I think back in the 80s, and did you reference any of those characters, or did you just completely start from the original novel? Um, you know, what was your take on things? Uh, I haven't been influenced by any previous adaptations. Um, I, you know, I'm uh, drawing purely from Ellen Montgomery's book and um, charting my own new territory. Well, that's wonderful, and we are definitely looking forward to that and how it plays out on Netflix. But also I wanted to mention for those of you in the audience who did not read the book, the original Anne of Green Gables, this is about an orphan girl who shows up at her new parents' home and they were expecting for a boy to show up. Um, and so then it sort of goes from there and they're set in a, in obviously back in the past, it's a, it's a period piece. So there's a very special feel that goes with it and, and from that time, which, uh, which is going to be wonderful for, for us to watch on the show which also leads me into the main character, which is Amy Beth. Amy Beth, you are the star of the show, and you know I would love to hear how you originally got this role and what was happening. Um, my agent actually just sent me over the sides for a self-tape to do for it, and I sent them over, and I just kind of forgot about it for a bit, and my agent just kept saying, no, 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 you're still in the mix for it, you're still in the mix for it, so it was very, very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And well, I was wondering, how did you actually read the book before you were offered the part? Yeah, I actually read the book when I was nine for my birthday. My mom gave it to me as a present. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, so you're, you're playing a younger girl. Obviously, you're, I think, around 10 in the story. I could be wrong. But anyways, I just wanted to, to ask you, you know, what do you bring to this character? You know, how do you approach this character as an actress? I guess it's just my portrayal of her and it's less playing a character than bringing the Anne and me out um, and you don't get to do that a lot as an actor and I, I relate to Anne a lot and I have a lot in common with her so it was pretty easy for me. Oh really cool well can you tell us more about that? Well we talk too much we both like books and nature uh, obviously with her kind of more damaged side I definitely had to put myself into her shoes but um, and I also don't have red hair, but hey, that got fixed quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they helped work that out. Yeah. <laughs> A girl would be of no use to us, do you understand? I can't say that I do. I beg your pardon? I don't mean any disrespect, but couldn't I do the farm chores even though I'm a girl? That's not the way of things, and you know it. 
But couldn't I? I'm as strong as a boy, and I prefer to be outdoors instead of cooped up in a kitchen. I don't understand the conundrum. For example, what if suddenly there were no boys in the world? None at all. Fiddlesticks. It doesn't make sense that girls aren't allowed to do farm work when girls can do anything a boy can do, and more. Do you consider yourself to be delicate and incapable? Because I certainly don't. Anyway, since I'm here now, couldn't you consider it? I could not. I'd put those fool notions out of your head. Well, come along. Let's get you washed up for supper. So, and this is a really great story. Now, you're from Ireland. Uh, how did you first get into acting? Like, what started your acting career? Um, I started with local things, uh, and then I got an audition in London when I was 10. I was on the West End when I was 11. Um, and then after that, I started doing BBC radio dramas. I was in my first TV show in Ireland, and then from that, it just kind of kept building, and now I'm on Netflix. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is so fantastic. What a great story. Um, congratulations, of course. And what's even cooler about this is that this character is very dear to a lot of people who have read this book over the last hundred years. So I'm sure they're going to be tuning in to get to see you, your portrayal of her, which is really exciting. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And Moira, I wanted to ask you, you're obviously a very talented showrunner, producer, and writer, and you've worked on so many other wonderful projects. So, um, you know, what is it that inspires you when you're looking into the types of projects that you're going to be working on? Um, well, certainly what inspires me about um, the, the sort of writing that I'm drawn to um, are complicated characters. Characters who have original wounding um, and who are really complex. So um, that was a big inspiration for writing Anne with an E because um, Anne has all those characteristics that I'm drawn to. Well, there you go. This is definitely one of those very complicated characters, and I'm sure you're going to uh, do a wonderful job with, with showing that. And, you know, everybody should definitely go and check out the show on Netflix. This is Anne with an E, and it is a retelling of Annie of Green Gables. And also, I wanted to ask if you guys think there's going to be anything further developed from the story from there. We don't know. We don't know yet. We have to give you a KG, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Well, cool. Well, before you go, I have one last question that I really love to ask my guests on the show, and that is for other people who are aspiring to get into this wonderful business, what kind of tips do you have for them? For me, it would be, even if it is possibly the smallest role you can imagine, just go with it. I started out doing like extra work, which was fine and it was great fun and it kind of lets you have a peek into what the professional world is like. Um, and don't be discouraged if you're still kind of an extra or you're making your way up. It, it'll happen, genuinely. If you just keep believing in yourself, you'll get there. And I would say um, study and learn your craft and get on the boards. Mm -hmm. and um, learn what it is to do your homework as an actor for a role. Well, that is some great advice for everybody out there. Thank you very much. And it has been so great talking with you both. Thanks again for being on The Red Booth Show. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching The Red Booth Show. You can tune into the show every Saturday night at midnight to get to know entertainers, artists, filmmakers, musicians, and more. So, thanks for watching.